Good afternoon. This video again. Go back to uh, Kevin Zacker's video, some of his comments. And um, Wayne Cook shows up. Now, if anybody's caused contention, caused contention on YouTube, it's Wayne Cook. Edward is full of hypocrisy, but, uh, but be warned, brother. Edward, unlike you, yourself feeds off, feeds off feeds of contention, I guess off of contention. It's like a sport to him. And the majority of Edward, Edward, uh, I guess he I means Edward's regular commentators, uh, com, uh, com, uh, common um, people make comments, uh, are the same, sadly. God bless you. 1011 replies. So you got a heart on that one. Um, I'm, I'm walking. He actually kept, uh, kept on another video that was dealing with me. It was done by a motorist. And, uh, Kevin went back, oh, since you're not training Tams, I guess I don't have to take on it myself. And the guy, guy looked into him. I'm not walking through his eyes, my eyes closed. Personally, I think I spent enough time in Edward for the time being. His hypocrisy just, hypocrisy just needs some exposure. I'm switching gears for now. Okay. But his pride won't let me, let him not answer this video. See, he wants, doesn't want to get a reply. See, Kevin's, Kevin's like a little kid, a little punk, who will throw a rock at somebody, somebody and then run away and hide. And since it's a blind leading the blind over a Pope's Edwards channel to be unable to see the hypocrisy for themselves. Wayne Crook answered, I understand that, brother. I agree. Ed Edwards' hypocrisy needs exposure. I just don't want to see you drawn into Edwards' game. And you said it's the blind leading the blind. Well, here's what uh, uh, Kevin Zacker's forced theology to be exposed. I've left Kevin Zacker alone because he's, he's basically just useless. It's not even, you know, he's not even worth dealing with. But now he wants to bring up the issues, or we'll bring up the issues and show how ignorant he is. He wants to talk about, well, if the eternal sonship doesn't exist, the, 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 the love of the Father and the Son never existed. I mean, eternally, didn't, didn't eternally exist. There was always love among the three persons of the Trinity. An infinite love. So what's this big deal? There has, there has to be a Father-Son relationship. Love relationship has to exist in the Trinity. That began in time. When the Incarnation happened. But there was always a triune love relationship because that's part of the nature of, uh, of God. The attributes of God is love. So they all love perfectly one another. They leave out the, he leaves out the uh, Holy Spirit. Where's the Holy Spirit in all this? So they're all talking to you. Both, both guys are talking to each other. Wayne Crook. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Some other person pops in here. Uh, Blue Sky. a special boy say so they stopped he stopped listening to him I don't know who he is special boy they've already convinced special boy who's special boy I don't know who he is <laughs> people pray special boy sees through the sister it's fruitless waste of time going back and forth in Christ alone uh, whoever they are their past reasoning and uh, remind me of a, a rabid dog uh, I was trying not to say too much as a blue sky. A special boy was easy picking for a pack of rabbit dogs. I was just trying to defend him. He doesn't understand this. So, there you go with Wayne Crook. Wayne Crook always shows up in these things. He, he never could make videos himself for some reason. He spoiled his issues up. So that's the, that's the big point of contention. Well, if that's, that father-son relationship didn't exist in eternity before the beginning. But the fact of the matter is, is that an infinite love relationship existed between three persons of the Trinity. He says two. He thinks that's the, that makes that's the issue of the Trinity. The issue of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, is that the Son, the Son willingly chose to be the Son. The Word was going to become the flesh and became, took on flesh, and became in, incarnate. In the, in, 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 uh, part of the, the became the uh, due to the incarnation became man. So he's the God man. He's both God and man in one person. They go all of this. Kevin Zaka has a theological nat knowledge of a gnat. He does. And all he gets is his, he gets fed uh, secondhand theology from Wayne Crook. And he's feeding this to other people now. He doesn't understand the issue of the incarnational sonship issue. They, Trinitarians are divided on that. Sonship, eternal sonship versus incarnational. 
but he wants to drive being that you're Trinitarian if you believe in the incarnation of you that when we say when it says it's this day we mean it means it this day <laughs> your I have begotten thee so the fact of the matter is that the uh, this the father son relationship didn't always have to exist for love to exist between the Trinity but that became part of that and that's that love relationship is an example to us father father love son relationship is an example of love uh, that we, we learn from. But there's always an infinite love between three persons of the Trinity. And that's, that's not affected at all by the uh, eternal sonship. And again, they don't, where's the Holy Spirit? Is he left out? Where's love for him, Zaka? So, I'm going to put this up show you, show you very quickly and just show you the, the nonsense that's come from this guy. Uh, uh, and he's leading, you know, about the, lead to the uh, blind leading the blind. Exactly what he's doing. These people have no idea what they're talking about. There are two two camps in the Trinitarian viewpoint. The issue of being a Trinitarian is being the three persons, three persons in one God. That's the issue of being a Trinity. A is believing that God is only one person. That's the essential issue. No matter how your different forms are, and like the Trinity, no matter what you believe about the eternal sonship versus the incarnational sonship, you're Trinitarian if you believe about three persons in one God. And this guy's up there. You know, they, and then he says about asking Jesus to save you. You know, and somebody says, well, he doesn't, Edward doesn't say he should save, ask Jesus to save you. Well, he won't save you. He gave him, he gave him a heart. <laughs> you know, gave him one of the heart for that. So Zachary could think you can ask God to save you. Jesus Christ to save you. Now you can seek God. And he'll give you the gospel. But you know, that part, of, asking is not part of the gospel. The only thing part of the gospel is the only issue in the gospel is what you believe. Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross, rose again from the dead, and you put your total faith in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. So I'll put this up real quick, and I'm going to deal more with Zachary. See, he doesn't like, like the responses. He does not like the responses. Because it displays his ignorance. He has another video up the third, the third, uh, you know, answer to his accusers. So I haven't dealt with that, and I have in time right now, but I'm going to deal with, deal with that in more detail. Show how stupid he is. I'm done playing with the guy. I'm play, done playing, trying to be, you know, uh, cordial to the guy because the guy's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't understand these issues. He doesn't understand what mortalism is. He doesn't know what the Trinitarian view is. He doesn't understand. He, his view is John 1 18, that's a begotten God. If you have Jesus Christ in begotten eternity, he's begotten God. Which is making a theory to the Father. And that's why he tries to change begotten into unique. Changes the word. He's always changing words. All these guys do. They all, they all try to change. Breaker tries to change the word. Kim tries to change the word. Uh, Bind changes the words. All change the words, the meanings of the word. That doesn't mean that. Doesn't mean that. It means exactly what it says. Ignore what it says and they try to put stick thing, other things in there. So, oh no, he's going to shift gears now. Oh no, his, <laughs> this isn't over. Uh, 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 Zaka. So you're not going to be able to throw a few rocks and then more money hide. Go home, hide to your mommy. With the old, uh, old, old Wayne Crook. Go hide with your mommy now. No, that's not going to happen. I'm going to get that third video and, and, and really show you what an idiot you are. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're teaching a false gospel. You're teaching a false gospel when you say people can ask. Because you're never told to ask. And calling isn't believing. And we see that from uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 1 2. Where saints, sanctified believers, were calling upon the name of the Lord. So I'll stop, put this up real quick. Amen. Thank you.